Okay then, my marvellous mathsy crew, how did you get on? Did you do some really careful counting for me? Oh, I bet you did. I can't wait to have a little look at those quizzes later and see how you did. Now, I said we were going to put those skills to use to help us do some combining today. Can you remember? Look at our action to try and help you. What do we mean when we combine things together? What are we doing in maths if we're combining? Well done, guys. Brilliant. When we combine something, it means we're bringing different groups together. Okay. Partition, which is this one, that's when we split something into groups. And when we combine, we bring those groups together. Okay. Now we can combine as many things as we want to. We might combine two things. We might combine five things. Doesn't matter. We can combine as many things as we want to. It's all the same in maths. And the way we do it is all the same as well. Now today, we're going to be a bit clever. And we're going to try and combine some of the amounts of food that the very hungry caterpillar eats. Okay? Now, if you click a click forward sorry onto the next card you'll find that you've got another stack like you had yesterday with your numbers and today's stack has got a pile of cards of all the things I'd like you to have a go at combining now the way that you're going to combine your amounts together is up to you okay you could use the pictures on the cards and count them all together or you could do like I'm going to do, like I'm going to show you now, and you could use some objects or some counters to help you to do it, okay? So you've got things in front of you to move and count. I find that easier in my maths, all right? So, let's get started. Excuse me, guys, just tipping out all my noisy counters. So, we know that that very hungry caterpillar ate different amounts of food on each day, didn't he? First of all, let's think about what he ate on Monday. Can anyone remember what did he eat on Monday? He ate one apple, didn't he? One apple on Monday. Now, I haven't got any apples with me. So, I'm going to use, how many counters do you think? One. One counter... And this is going to stand in for my one apple, okay? So there's my Monday, and he had one apple, so I've got one counter to show that. What did he have on Tuesday? Can you remember? Well done, he had pears on Tuesday, didn't he? And how many did he have? He had two, well done. How many counters do you think I'm going to use, guys? I'm going to use two. Now, just to make it easier for me to see, I've gone for some darker counters for my other amount. Okay, just so it's easier for me to see. This is my Monday, this is my Tuesday. All right, so I've got one apple for Monday, two pears for Tuesday. Now, if I'm going to combine these two amounts together, what am I going to do, guys? Hmm, can you guess? Well done. To combine an amount, all it means is that I need to bring them all together. I combine them. I bring them together. That's what combining is, okay? What I need to do to see how much I've got once I've combined my numbers is what? What do you think I need to do now? I need to count them all up. Well done. And remember, because I've combined, I want to count how many I've got all together. Okay? Not just how many apples I've got and how many pears I've got, because that's the same. I've still got one apple and two pears, but I've combined them together. So I want to see how many I've got all together. So to do that, I can count them up. I've got one, two, three. Ah, so the very hungry caterpillar ate three pieces of fruit on Monday and Tuesday, okay? That's because on Monday he had one apple, on Tuesday he had 
two pairs and when I combine those together it makes three. One, two, three. I've just done a maths sum. Mm. Should we do another one? Okay. What about then if he had two pairs, didn't he? Two pairs on Tuesday. So let's think about what he ate on Tuesday and Wednesday this time. There's my two counters for my two pairs for Tuesday. What did he eat on Wednesday, guys? Can you remember? It was plums on Wednesday. Well done. And how many plums did he eat on Wednesday? Three. Nice job. So how many counters am I going to get for my three plums? Well done. Three counters. Okay. One. Two. Oh, and three. Okay. So I want to combine Tuesday and Wednesday's food together to see how many bits of fruit he ate all together. So what have I got to do to my counters? What do I need to do? How am I going to move them? Well done. I'm going to bring them all together because that's what combining is, isn't it? It's when we bring our groups together. So... Tuesday's pears, Wednesday's plums. I've brought them all together. I've combined them. How many? Oh, sorry. What do I do to find out how many I've got? Well done. I need to count them all. Do I just count my pears? Do I just count my plums? I need to count all of them, don't I? I've got one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. So two pears and three plums is five all together. Or two pears combined with three plums is five all together. Nice job, guys. Another mathsy sum is done. Okay, let's think about Wednesday. And, ooh, let's do Friday. So on Wednesday, he had three plums. Can anyone remember what he ate on Friday? He had oranges on Friday, didn't he? And how many oranges did he have? Can you remember? It was five. Well done. Now, don't worry, guys. When you go off and practice on your own in a minute, I've put all of the amounts on the cards for you. It's not a test to see how well you can remember the story. I'm more concerned about your mathsy skills today, okay? So don't worry if you're not quite remembering those numbers. You'll have them on the screen in front of you to help you, okay? So we've got three plums from Wednesday. And we've got one, two, three, four, five oranges from Friday. I want to find out how much he ate on Wednesday and Friday. So what am I going to do? Well done. I need to combine my amounts. What does that mean? Well done. It means I need to bring those two amounts together. So let me bring my plums ooh, over to my oranges. Okay. And can you see I moved my orange I'm um, sorry I moved my plums over this time last time I moved this group over that way doesn't matter which one I move over to mix in with the other group that's still combining okay right I've put my groups together I've combined them how am I going to find out how much he ate well done I need to count them all up don't I now you can see we're starting to get into some bigger numbers here and that's where that careful counting comes in, guys. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many pieces of fruit did he eat? Eight. Well done. So we can say three plums and five oranges is eight pieces of fruit altogether. Or three 
and five combine to make eight. Well done. Okay, that's what I'd love you to go and practice for me today. Now, like I said, you could use counters or objects to help you move things and make it easier to count if you'd like to. Or you could use the pictures on the screen. But the most important thing that you're thinking about for me today is that when we combine things, what are we doing? We're bringing them all together. And we need to count everything to see how much we've got all together. That's what combining is. Okay, the second thing you need to remember is that careful counting, especially as you get through the cards, you'll see you'll have bigger numbers to combine and you're going to need to count really carefully to find out how many you've got. All right, have lots of fun guys. Enjoy exploring all of the food that hungry caterpillar ate and I'll see you after lunch ready for this afternoon's jobs.